Okay, so I've had this notebook for about a week now. It's the arc ringed notebook with the uh, leather backing and um, it's in the A5 size. That was part of what I liked about it. Um, I was hesitant to pick this up because I was concerned that uh, the pages, uh, I was concerned that the uh, slots in the pages were a pretty significant mode of failure. And I thought I'd just go over my experience using the notebook over the past week or so. So I feel like I was right that if you do remove the pages a lot, eventually they'll the slots get brittle and they will go back in. But they lose a lot of their strength. I'll compare the what lose a lot of their strength. Um, so, for example, this is a page that I've been removing in and out quite a lot, and then I'll take a new page from a different part of the book because they give you uh, 60 sheets to start with. And if I lift this up, it can hold up the entire weight of the book. Um, so that's a good thing, but if you keep, once you've really manipulated the page position a lot and abused those slots a bit, that, that sort of goes away as a, as a possibility. It loses its ability to grip for those slots here to grip onto the discs. Um, I got the notebook to replace my uh, uh, personal journal, um, so... Uh, I sort of just keep uh, just a general general notes in here about different topics. They do make uh, dividers that go into this arc system, uh, and they have a whole collection of different accessories that work with these rings. Uh, this is my first notebook of this kind with the rings. I thought it was appealing because all the uh, all the rings are the same standard spacing and size, and all the different cuts of different uh, cuts of paper fit into any ring size notebook. So you could have a, a uh, this is A5, so you could have an A6 for like a tiny little notebook uh, slot into here and you could take this and put it into an A4 or you know if you don't mind the paper sticking out you could put an A4 in this A5 notebook and, and the rings would hook in. Um, when I first bought it I was concerned that uh, problem would be that after a while of manipulating the pages and putting them back in that the uh, slots that you use would wear out and I think that's correct I'd say that that's probably the mode of failure here because they do sell backup paper the paper is a uh, hundred GSM uh, which I think is partly a side effect of the fact that it is a ring system so the paper needs to be somewhat thicker than your average printer paper because you actually are using the tensile strength of the paper to hold the book together. Uh, so I think that's a, I think that's less of a marketing uh, I think having the GSM 100 paper is less of look it's GSM 100 paper more of we need a thicker paper to uh, make the uh, ring system more compatible with different papers. You can get a, a ring punch to put any sort of old paper in here, but because uh, the paper does sort of get somewhat fragile with the uh, slot holes, I would imagine that the, it's probably just for temporary use, like you put it in there, maybe keep it for a week or two, not really the sort of thing where you need to add extra pages in all the time from blank pages in the back, or rearrange notes, or take notes out, work on them outside the book and then to put them back in in a different order. So manipulating the slots really seems to be the weak, the point of weakness here, because the slots aren't really that durable. And I, I don't, and um, I, I wouldn't, like, I don't have crazy expectations, uh, regular bound or glue bound or stitch bound notebooks that don't have the uh, dynamic functionality of being able to reorder pages. Uh, don't have the sort of problem of the binding actually just ripping out as easily. 
but then again, you don't have the dynamic quality of being able to reorder the pages. Uh, with uh, with uh, sort of three ring binders, lever arch binders, and six ring binders where you open the rings up and you put the pages in, uh, you can maybe carefully suspend one page. Uh, I see I have one here. You may be able to sort of suspend one the book by one page, but the more you do that, the more strain you put on the paper because this is a thinner paper than this. Uh, eventually, it's going to rip out, and then you have to buy little plastic rings to reinforce the paper, and that just gets very messy and isn't very... Uh, I find it to just be hassleful and not very good. Um, so part of the uh, marketing, for part of the uh, gimmick for this is that you can... Uh, fold it in half and I think that I think you can sort of do that but what I usually find is if you're writing on the other side of it and you're inside the book a bit it, it doesn't really fit very comfortably here so you have like the paper sort of is get gets pulled into the ring that's probably due to the ring size they give you by default with the book and you can buy larger rings to maybe take away that problem a bit but that, that also is a feeling also if you're writing on the side with the pockets you do feel the indent of the pockets when you're writing so what I tend to do is I tend to take advantage of the uh, binding mechanism and I'll actually remove a sheet write on it and then flip it over and finish writing on it and I'll write on it outside the book and then reinsert it and here and because of that style you find that that usage style, you find that you do end up really wearing the slots for the rings, and it seems like it pretty. It seems like part of how they get you to buy more paper, and part of they, how they get you to keep reinvesting in the system is that the paper wears out. You need to replace the paper, and it, I that concern concerns me a bit because I, after I finish using the paper, I would, would ideally like to put it away in a book somewhere and put it on a shelf put it on a shelf somewhere and be done with it. But with this, you, you don't really... It feels like it's very disposable. Because of the way the binding works, it feels very disposable. And so those are my thoughts on the actual binding and the paper. I mean, it does sort of feel a lot like a, a spiral notebook on steroids with the dynamic functionality. Uh, I'm usually not a fan of spiral notebooks because... The, I find the spirals get messed up if you throw it in your book bag a lot and they, they just get sort of mangled and bent and then the pages don't uh, fold over evenly. The pages just don't fold over evenly and it's not as a pleasant user experience so I usually go for a bound or composition type book. Uh, so yeah, but about the actual leather uh, sides of the book. It has the arc insignia at the bottom, at the back of the book, but I mean, I think the pockets are okay. I mean, I'm not really a leather, a leather savant, but I sort of feel like this is, I think this is synthetic. I, I don't know that for certain, but it, it does smell, it does have like a sort of maybe authentic smell to it, but like around the seams, like on the inside seam here, you have what you have the leather from the front wrapping over and that seems very sharp for leather it seems unusually sharp for a fabric so maybe they treat it with some sort of plastic or some sort of a material that causes it to be very rigid also it has this bunching up in the corners uh, on the back and in the front here and I would have preferred something smooth like this like maybe if they cut here and then just ran them over top of each other so you don't get this sort of sharp fold up this sharp crinkle here the sharp uh, sort of cre creasing this into the corner like this I think this is very nice if they just ran them clean off the page I think that would have been a little nicer quality there other than that I, I mean it, it is what it is you have some credit card uh, size slots here for business cards and we'll pocket for papers. I mean, it's okay. A lot of sort of notebooks have that sort of thing. It, it's not, 
insignificant. It's it's sort of fine. It's a, I, I've seen videos on YouTube. It seems like people quite like the sort of pocket he got here. I, it's not that crucial for me. Uh, what, I, what I'm more worried about is the binding system. Uh, they also have a little pen loop. Like I, I've heard about the pen loop. It has a little elastic section on it, so it does stretch out quite well. It has like a same uh, leather type material that the rest of the book is made out of. But it does have like a nice leather, a taller, uh, has a nice uh, stretchy tolerance to it. So that's pretty good. I, I mean, I think you could wear that pretty good. I use a Pilot G2 at the moment, and that fits in there pretty comfortably. Uh, though, because of the amount of paper they give you, they give you 60 sheets by default. The pen I'm using, which I would say is a common size, or pretty stand, eh, is not an unusual uh size of pen and not an unusual diameter of pen. I, I wouldn't say it's particularly unique in its diameter. It's not a very thick pen, but it does cause the book to close differently. If you have this in here, it does cause it to be a bit more open when it closes, and that's probably because they expect you to use pages, uh, use up the pages, break the pages, need to buy more paper, need to buy bigger discs, and this problem would go away if the discs were bigger. So my feelings towards this aren't, or it was nice to try. I was reluctant to try it because I was pretty certain that this would be a significant mold effect, mode of, that the uh, dynamic binding would be a significant mode of failure. And I think after I finish up this uh, book, I don't think I'll be buying a replacement paper or a, a continue to use this arc system. I, I might be proven wrong, I might change my mind about that, but so far I feel like since I like to take advantage of the dynamic nature of the paper quite a lot, that the slots would just get really worn and probably aren't going to keep over time, so I, I'm, I feel like I, I haven't finished the search on the definitive notebook, though what was originally a a very strong aggravating factor in this purchase is that it is a standard metric size. It does conform to a paper size. It's an A5, which I like. Um, see, from using it, uh, I like to put a whole, I like to put the full date there. On the A4, they give you more space on the printing for the lines. Uh, I have to end up squeezing in the date there, so I don't really like that either. I guess they want you to write, they sort of are implying that you'd write an abridged, abridged date there. I don't really like that. The title's okay, but like, I, I, sometimes I like to write a, a longer title for what I'm working on. I, I would just prefer regular just lined pages. You don't need to like give me a little special box for the date. You, you don't need to sort of indicate that you have a title and then a body area of the page. I, I just prefer regular lines for the page, but that's just me.